Welcome back to more soldiers, everybody. In the last episode, we um, ended up getting another ability, and that actually was the Ice Orb attack, which actually lets us go to a lot of areas we couldn't before. So, what I'm going to do in this video is actually take care of basically all the stuff I need to do. Um, what the hell, dude? Okay. So, the very first thing is I believe there's actually going to be something that I can do here. Is there an, oh, he's right there. Stupid enemy. Dude, get up there. What the freaking... Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding? Wow. Wow. Well, I just got freaking chain hit like crazy. Whatever, just kill this guy, man. This guy's a freaking it jerk, man. Come on. I was gonna try to fight the guys up there, but this guy kept, kept giving me stuck, so like, what the hell, dude? Whatever, there. That's how you want to play it? I'll do it like that then. I wasted two potions because of that, though, unfortunately. But... Oh well. Dude, like, I just couldn't do anything. Like, I legitimately couldn't do anything. I kept getting stuck in the same attack pattern the entire time. And that was just so what the heck, man. Alright, well anyway, we did that. Experience in some ways. Okay, there's something... Yeah, right there. You can use a normal bomb or one of those, but I just did that. That's fine. It's Dark Crystal. Okay, I'm back over here in the Tempest Plains, but I'm specifically in the mine section of the plains. And this time I actually have what I need to do, which is going to be this thing. Essentially, you... What are you do? Wait, hold on. I'll have to drop it right here, right? Yeah, it's right there. My bad. Like that. There we go. Okay. Just like that. And this will actually get us access into some weird place. What the hell? You got Lost Sword and Abandoned Sword looks like those have been untouched for years. Oh. Oh, shoot. Okay. So I found out that these guys are actually weak to uh, water. So water is the way to deal with them. Because again, they were previously immune to basically everything else. Okay. I got you. Game's kind of lagging. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, these rats are vicious. I think the rats are actually some of the strongest enemies in the game from what we've seen so far. Like, because they don't really have a set pattern. They're kind of erratic in their pattern. And it can be a little difficult to actually, you know, get through them. Or, like, sometimes know what they're going to be doing to predict what they're doing, you know? Stay away from that stupid poison now. Okay, there we go. There's so many freaking enemies, man. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Also, how much damn experience? Jesus, like, I feel like I'm killing so many enemies. to full health. Yeah, the, the Blood Sword helps a lot with this, honestly. Like, I've... The one that basically, you know, when you defeat an enemy, you actually gain some of their health, you know, or that. Blood Ring, whatever. I said Blood Sword or something? Something like that. The Blood Something accessory. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Oh my god, I hate that stupid thing. Oh, there we go, we did it. Okay, and I think that's actually it. Like, there's nothing... Yeah, there's not gonna be anything up there. We're fine. So we got that item. Um, over here there's a treasure. Which we can obtain, and this is Asgarite. Alright, how, how are we looking here? 100%. Tempest Mines is, in fact, complete. Well, and Tempest Plains. Tempest Plains slash Mines. So yeah, we have done that. So with this, I think we can, I mean, we'll eventually have to go back to the city, I believe. But we're not going to do that quite yet. This takes us back out here, exactly where we kind of needed to go, but... Okay, I'm actually back in the Great Pyramid because we have a couple things that we're missing here. We're at 95%. And what I'm going to do is start by going into this area right here, where you saw on the map really quickly. By going into that one, it takes us into the Deep Pyramid section, but specifically right over here. 
So there's a little section over there, as you can see, that I ended up missing. So I do want to um, actually grab that item over there. And I don't know how I can actually get around. I may have to go all the way. Oh, shoot. You know what? No, no, no. I, I, I can do this. Yeah. I was going to say, like, what the hell, man? Okay, well, get up there. Thank you. But yeah, the very first one is going to be right over here on the very right side. All you have to do is... Okay, that's easy enough. Yeah, right here. Uh, we definitely never bombed that wall. And this leads to this here. That's the last one of those. Uh, now what I'm going to do is turn back. Because in the door over... Wait, where am I going? Yeah, it'll be that one. Okay, we're going to go down like this. We're going to enter this door. And then take the one on the right. Because I believe to complete a another like a hunt quest thing, it's going to be over here on the right side. Right here. So for this one... I guess I'll take the save, I'm not sure how difficult or easy this thing's going to be, but the battle is essentially right there. Um, you'll see, just shortly. It's the, the Golden Guard thing. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Should be over here, let's see if I have this right. Yeah, looks like it is. Oh man. Oh Jesus Christ, dude. This is actually not gonna be as easy as I thought it was. God freaking damn it, dude. Did not even fade away, man? Oh no, no, no. Okay, I killed him though. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. What the freaking hell? You can't just attack that freaking fast, dude. What the hell? Dude. You're on some massive steroids over here. Okay, get... No, what are you... Oh, Jesus Christ, man. The curse. Oh, that curse is dreadful. I don't know how I'm going to beat this guy, honestly. I really don't have the slightest clue. Oh my god! Come on, come on! Get him! Got him, oof, that is tough. Oh my god, I hate Curse. I really need to get some equipment that will actually block from Curse, because that's ridiculous. It doubles the damage you take, essentially, and it halves the damage you do at the same time. It is wild, it is a very overpowered status element in this game. Okay, we're gonna get that, and... We're actually fine with that. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Okay, the next item is actually right here, as you can see. I just revealed it right there. It was in the section up here, close to the top right-ish. And there's a chest here. We're going to go ahead and open it, and it contains a potion that... I think I can use that one. Might as well use it. Just for fun. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get our water here. Hold down. And now we can... Go to the left, and this way, a place that we couldn't go to before, but now we can with this ability. Oh shoot, why did I do that? Hmm. Oh god. Oh damn it, I missed. I missed. Dude, okay, so one thing I should mention right now is that controlling this uh, character and this form is actually a lot more floaty than you think. It does not control the same um, as your actual soldier guy. It's something that you just have to play the game to understand what I'm talking about, but it does control a little bit differently. Okay, so there's just some areas here that I can... Okay, there's something right there. There we go. 
Okay. That's uh, more rocket, right? That's go oh shoot. You, you gotta be shitting me. Oh god! Oh my god! What? Oh god! I was like, what the hell? Just I thought I thought the game glitched. Uh, that's not good. I definitely screwed that one up there, but. Oh, we got a potion from there, that's... Man, the free getting the timing down on those things is so difficult. Honestly, who cares? Just freaking go. Okay, what is... Oh, okay, it's a platform there. I'm trying not to take any more damage, though. There we go. Made it. Okay, so we did that room, and... Oh, I didn't even mention this, but oh, I should actually go back there. Just to show you really quick, but basically... Um, okay, this might be a, a big loading screen, but I think that I actually ended up completing the Great Pyramid. I'm pretty sure that that's the case, but we'll take a quick look just to make sure, but I believe that's the case. Now we're going into the, um, I think this leads back to the desert, the Sabuna Desert. And, oh, there we go. Gonna go ahead and save the game. Gonna get that heal. And I believe this is going to be a bit of a difficult place. Uh, I did hear about some kind of gauntlet thing. I don't know if I can keep going back after every room, though. If it's too hard, then I'm not gonna do it, obviously. But we'll see. Well, it's actually... I mean, it's weaker enemies. Enemies that aren't really a problem anymore. Oh, what, what am I doing, man? I need to be breaking these things. Oh, we got a level up there. Okay, that's... Good, I suppose. Like, do we have to do the entire thing in one trip? I'm actually not sure if we have to. Huh. Well, it's it's the weaker enemies. I mean, we've seen these enemies before a long time ago, so like that's why I'm not really concerned yet, at least. Keyword is yet, because who knows? Oh, what the hell? Oh, you were immune to damage right there. Holy shit, man. Oh, God. G kill him! Oh, my God, man. I'm dying. I'm dying. What the hell is... Seriously? Okay, just... Jesus Christ, dude. Get up there. Okay, third room. Oh my god. Okay, not too difficult anymore. I remember a long time ago those guys actually kind of kind of gave me a lot of trouble here and there. Okay, well I kinda of got stuck there, but there we go. That wasn't too bad. I mean we're getting a lot of health back from each of these kills. Again, that blood ring helps tremendously. It really does though. Next room. Yeah, this would actually be, I mean, I don't know, because you can only go here once you're at the point of the story where I am, where you have the ability with basically the water orb. But, like, you're facing all these, like, really pathetically weak enemies, you know? Like, by this point in the game, which is like, what the hell? I don't know. Like, they're just, like, really simple. So how much experience are these giving me? Let's see. Eh, basically nothing. Kind of figured. Oh, by the way, I have so much of this. I should do this again. 
some more of these. Um, actually, I can probably wait because level 30 is when I unlock more stuff. And that might depend on the pathway that I want to take. If I see something amazing, I definitely want to grab it. Okay. And I think here's the last room. Oh god. Get him! Yeah, I really hate those flying Anubis guys, man. They're... They're cra I think they're the hardest enemies in the Great Pyramid area. That's my boat, at least. Because Especially because they can inflict curse, I believe. There we go. And with that, we obtain a treasure. And what could this treasure be? It's 10,000 money. Oh my god. That's so crazy. Alright, so that's one chest down. I believe there's going to be another one over here somewhere. Yep, this one. Mana, or Mana Reliquary. Okay. And that will up our total MP plus 7. Here's the switch wall, which will unlock this gate. And with that, we've completed most of the desert. I think we're missing only one item. Uh, yeah. Actually, wait, two items. What the hell? Two? What do you mean two? Actually, I'm pretty sure I know where the last one is. Um, wait, it actually, isn't it right here? I'm pretty sure it's straight on this pathway along this area. Like, I'm almost certain. Hold on. I was right, it's right there, it's literally right there. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so we are right over here in the Forest of Fur, uh, this particular section, and close to the beginning actually, when you first enter the Forest of Fur. So right here, all you gotta do is have this thing, and you have to freeze this. And you break it, and there we go. Locks the chest, and there's another Lacrima Fragment. This I believe, oh, that's not complete, damn it. I thought I completed. However, that's actually all I can do in terms of treasures. There's two left in the Forest of Fur which we cannot obtain yet. Okay, so all the way down here, we have this bubble here. I'm gonna go in and hit this to see what it actually does. There we go. I think this actually is how you do it. It will take us to where we need to go. There we go, that's how you get that one. So it was complete. Okay, so here in the Hoffman Sewers, I think the very first thing I need to do is find... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go around. Let's see if I can go from this side. I also probably want to kill the stupid enemies here, because they're gonna be really annoying. But I have to essentially find a way to get to... Okay, I think this side will work. Yeah, right up here. Because now that we have this ability, let me again keep killing the enemies. Oh shoot, I took a hit there. Okay, we're going to switch to that, hold, and we have to go all the way back to the beginning area in here and obtain another Beigle over there. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Where did you come from, dude? You weren't here before. Go. Drop. And we can do this. Squeeze through. Obtain it, and perfect. Now, the next one we need to actually get, I think will require us to go all the way around. Oh my god, dude. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna do that. What the hell? Oh my god, game, you fucking suck. Okay, we're back, stupid freaking game with this bugs and crashes everywhere. Okay, we're gonna go to this one here. Whoops, wrong one. I think this should work, so if you use the pool here, I think I can make it to the water. Well, actually, I would have to do it regardless, because I don't think I can go... Well, can I... No, I can't make it from the top, as you can see. But, cause, yeah, because you can't. I don't think you can wall jump. No, you can't. But I think what we have to do is basically go around. And this should work. Yeah, like this. I'm going to drop here. 
Gonna just be careful. Oh shoot, oh, stupid. Oh my god, the cooldown is horrible for that freaking dash, just like the roll. Also, you know what's funny? The update also said that it actually did that. Um, for like the update, like it, it lets you actually roll more often now, but that's not true. That's definitely not true. Like, it's the same speed. It seriously is. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? Okay, well there's, let's see. I'm gonna have to go... Yeah, I think it wants us to go all the way around like that, so we have to go like that. Just don't touch it. I think that'll actually harm you. If you do that. Okay, and then here we gotta go one, two. Yeah, and then just go up like that. That's how you do this puzzle that I couldn't do before. And here we can just go like this. Then we can take this one to go down. And this one should take us to the new area that we haven't been to before. Okay, here's one treasure. Oh my god. Uh, you don't have to go like this. Don't touch them. I'm pretty sure they're gonna harm me if I do something like that. Oh, oh nice. Another fragment. Okay, and I think that's actually it for this area, because it's just gonna loop back around to the section we've already been to. Yeah, look at that, okay. That's good, uh, now we can just get out of here, which I guess I'll just quickly, oh Jesus, quickly show you. Crap. Oh, damn it. That's fine, as long as I don't touch those freaking creatures. Okay. that and then you can just hold like this to get through again wait no you can't what wait seriously so what is the point of that appearing on the map then it's kind of showing that you that you can do that but it's not even letting you do this there we go that's how you get the last one I remember that I was like oh I know there's something there there is but you can only fit there as this size and we got a soul ring plus plus. Okay, we're gonna take a look to see if we can equip some better armor. Um, who knows, who knows, but we are actually done for now with this area because there's nothing else you can do in the sewers at the moment. Everything on the right side cannot be accessed yet. Okay, we're over in the uh, floating module now because there are definitely some items we need to get over here. So the very first thing is uh, actually pretty close to the beginning here. You see how there's a cool thing right up there. So all we need to actually do here for this first area is obviously get to it, which is right over here, and then go down, because what we're going to be doing is taking the pathway down here, this one. Simply go down and there we go. This actually takes us to a secret treasure here, which contains some rockerite. Okay, that's a nice start through there there we go just hold up to do that all right so pretty close here to where we're at right over yep it's right, right up there it's actually a secret i think you can just honestly run right into it yeah right up here farm with these stupid birds i hated those birds so freaking much yep we just go right here i can't believe i missed this actually we get more rockerite that wasn't too bad that's already two treasures that's a pretty good start Okay, now we're way up here at the very top right section, because over here is where there's going to be another hunt enemy. This is Jokey the Mad, I believe. This guy. Who might actually cause it to be a, quite a big problem. Who knows, really. I think we're getting pretty okay right now, though. I, I don't know how much damage these things will do, though. Oh, they can stun you. That, that's the issue. Oh, Jesus. Go. Should almost be dead. There we go, yeah. Not too bad. Whoa, the game massively lag right there. 
Okay, now what we're gonna do, because uh, there's actually something here. Um, I think it's... Yeah, you can just drop through here. It's my bad. But this leads to another item. This is some Ascarite. Pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna lay one of these down to see what the heck happens here. By the way, I'm over here on the map. Right there. Let's see if it actually reaches. Oh, it does! Wow, would you look at that. Okay, that's pretty good. But yeah, this area of the map, there's gonna be a lot of stuff here that we definitely have not done. We got some rocker right there. It's pretty good. Alright, so let's go... Yeah, we have to go up, I believe. Back up. Because you may remember, a while ago actually, there was in fact a pool of... You know those little blue pool things? There's one... Where is it? Oh, it's, yeah, it is right here. Okay. It's just covered by this shit. So all you have to do is do this, and with that we can actually go through this area. Alright, so from here... I mean, it's basically a room that we haven't been to, obviously. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I don't think I need to stay like that. Okay, because I'm going to have to go both up and down in this section, but I think i got to go this way first. Oh my god, dude, get down there. Okay, we're going to hit that. That's going to open up a pathway. Jeez, no, no, no. Oh my god. Freaking nerve wracking, man. Okay, with that, the pathway has opened. You know what? I'll just take less damage if I just went through. Seriously. What the hell kind of shit was that? Alright, so, so far nothing. Nothing crazy. We're gonna hit this. My little checkpoint appeared. Whoops. Screw that up again. Oh, I see. I don't know you were freaking immune. Gotta be careful here because. Hmm. I have to wait for these things to line up. What? Wait, no, that's not actually not what you do. What? Wait, what do you do here? Because I wasn't lined up to the smoke there. Or wait, it worked this time. What the hell? That's so weird. Okay, well that's freaking bullshit, dude. What? Can I just get up there like this? No, I can't. That's that's freaking shit, though. Like, didn't I just line up like that? Oh, come on. This is not lining up well at all. Ugh. It also involves a lot of luck, as you can see. This is getting freaking aggravating, because it's freaking stupid with the luck-based timing. It's always different every time. And then that one... Oh my god, that is ridiculous. That's some major bullshit, man. Seriously. Look, he just grabs his chest. Just do it. Okay, we got some Ragnar right there. We're gonna hit that to get a checkpoint unlock. Uh, I think we actually we have to do this again because now there's actually this one. Oh. Okay. Next section. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! No way. Fuck! Stop it! I hate these things. Also, what did I just glitch through that thing? 
Dude, this is ridiculous. Like, come on. What the hell? Okay, I think it was glitched there. That's definitely not how you're supposed to be standing in that spot. Okay, what the hell do you do here? But there's no... I guess I do have to stay like this. Wow. I didn't think I had to do that. Damn, that means I do have to do this all the way through. Oh, come on. You fall there? There's nobody on the freaking planet that would uh, that would ever think that. There's no way. That looks like a platform. Seriously? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. No! How did you fall through there, man? Oh my god. Okay, don't fall. Thank you. Just go, just go, just go. Go all the way, please. This is crazy. Okay, those things are kind of weird because you just automatically like fall through them all the time. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, 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 I see. Wait a minute, no, that's not how you... Okay, I guess you do. And again, it happened. It's kind of weird, honestly. You have to hit that, what does that do? Huh? What the hell did that do? Oh, it made a conveyor... Oh, okay, sure. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. This is gonna be a tough one. Jeez. Oh, Come on, get over there, you stupid. I made it, I made it, I almost died. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am dying over here. What do I do here? Oh, I just have to like pull it maybe? Oh, yeah, I guess I just gotta pull it. Okay, should I? I'm not gonna take any chances, I'm doing this. I'm using a potion, screw it. Okay, are we finally done? I mean, we have to be. We have to be done. But is there really still more? There's no way. Oh no. Well, it's a good thing I went, went ahead and used a potion, because this is definitely looking like a battle room. Just keep giving me health, please, and we'll be fine. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Oh, the stupid unavoidable shots, huh? Being your cheap shit. We got something. Huh. Some kind of mechanism thing. Another one. Oh, that's what that quest. I actually forgot about the quest. That's what that is. I have to get 20 of these. I forgot about that. Huh. I forgot about these enemies too. They're always annoying when I fought them. All the enemies in this place were annoying to be fair. Especially this guy. But now we're definitely... Oh my god. Stunned? There's still more? Jesus, man. And what the hell, dude? 
Oh god, I gotta get that. I need those. Yeah, I need. I think I need 20 of those. I just have to beat a bunch of enemies. Which I guess you kind of saw you know, which enemies you have to defeat. Might be something I'll just do off screen before I, you know, begin the next video. More than likely I will do that. So, okay, this is just gonna take us back. What is that? Oh. Oh, I see. And then, oh, just gotta go back. Okay, so I think we did everything there. We should be fine. Um, that was a lot of progress, to be honest. That was a lot. Uh, as far as where I can go, yeah, I can just go down and warp, I think, and I should be okay. Okay, the next area that we're gonna uh, go in is actually right here, this humongous area here. Uh, there's actually a little thing where we can use like a bomb, a little pig bomb over here. So we, I think what we have to do is basically lay one down here. And we should be able to make it, let's see. Barely, barely made it, but that does open, oh, what the hell? That opens out right there. So we basically have to just, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and fight you, obviously. Okay, go, 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 go. Did we get a gear? Yes, okay, I need more of these, because I gotta get, uh, 20, yeah, 20 of those, so. We'll get there eventually. Also, one other thing about the update, it's a more minor thing. Uh, they actually increase the speed in which you push and pull blocks. It's one of many little things that they fix here and there. I didn't really mention that one because the opportunity hadn't really come up yet, but yeah, that is one thing that happened. We can push that to make something, oh, there we go. And look at that, it gains access, gains us access to a, an item over there. Let's go down. Okay, if I see any of those enemies, I definitely want to kill them. Are there any over here? I don't think so. This guy. Because these, I think it's a 100% drop rate for that gear wheel because I haven't fought one of those in which they didn't do that, like drop that. Alright, there's a Dark Crystal, so that's another one of those. Um, now what I'm gonna do is... Okay, let me fight this guy. Oh, that one actually didn't drop it. Never mind, I... I'm wrong. It's not 100%. It seemed like it was because every single time they would drop one, so... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hold down here. Let me show you where I am on the map. I'm actually close to the bottom section. This area, there's a whole area over here at the very bottom, and I haven't been to it, but there's a little pool thing here. And I think I need to use this so I can actually get down there and go through the area. Right over here. Huh. Okay, let's see here. Oh, here's a treasure. We'll take it. That's one of those potions. Got another thing to, uh, I can switch back if I want to. There it is. Oh my god. Well, at least these are going to drop some of these. Some gear wheels. Okay, well, there's another section up there. I should probably go that way because I don't think I can make the jump. There's stuff down there, but... I don't think I can hang on to that stuff. Let's just go up first. You know, because this I know that I can do. Okay. I'm gonna kill him. Damn it, that one didn't actually give me one. Shoot. That's it. Oh, another pool right there. Oh boy. There's a chest here. That one contains money. Okay, I think I need to do this again. Because I believe what I have to do, I kind of saw it. Okay, hold on. I have to make it all the way over there. There we go. I'm gonna go like this, and then go... There we go. Okay, next area. Oh, Jesus. And go. Oh, shoot. I got stuck by these guys. Okay, give me all this. I got another one that puts me at 11. We need only 9 more. So I am officially past halfway point, I guess you can say. Another treasure. We'll take this one too. This contains another potion. Okay. That's kind of it for there. Let's see if... Well, wait a minute. No, I can go down that way. Actually, I think that's what I have to do because... Actually, there's a ladder down here. I don't trust that. I really don't trust that. At least, not yet. 
Let's just go around first. I'm gonna take the safe route for now. <laughs> Let's see what I find. Ah, oh, look at that, okay. Okay, now where does this take me? Oh! Oh, I see it goes down. Wait, what does that do? Oh, is that time? Uh... I'm actually not completely sure. I don't think it did anything, though. No, I don't think it did. Hmm. I think I have to just go that way. Now the thing is, this thing actually ended up moving somewhere. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna just take it to see where it ends up taking me to. Alright, let's see where we're going. Okay. Wait, but I've already been here before. Oh, I see what I have to do. Hold on, I know what I have to do. This actually makes a lot of sense. You have to transform back into this form. And then wait for the guy. Be very careful about this jump. Don't remember that your character gets a little out of control when you jump in this form. There we go. Okay. Just gotta be a little careful. Now we're gonna go back and what we have to do... Okay, be careful again. There we go. Okay, so we have to actually go all the way around. Do not get out of it. We have to go like this. Down. Left here. Open this treasure. Contains Dark Claw. That's a new weapon there, okay. Can I go ahead and push this thing through? Sure. Puts the switch there, so now we can uh, we'll go this way. Wait. But now I have to... I think I have to do it again, because... Yeah, I actually do have to do it again. I think. But I mean, but I have to switch back into human form to push the blood, so that wasn't my, my fault or anything. But with the block press, actually, let me see how many... I'm missing three treasures. What the hell? That means I think that I'm missing one, believe it or not. Because I really thought this was going to be it, like the last treasure, but no, it's actually not. Okay, we're back in this form, and this time we can go this way into a new section. Oh, another one of these. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, shoot. Okay, go like that. I think I have to go that way. Oh, boy. Hmm. Let's see. No, that's not how you would do it, because I would need more height. What the hell? Wait a minute, hold on a second. Yeah. That's what you gotta do. Oh yeah, I actually have to stay in this form, by the way. Huh. Okay, well let's keep going now. Another one of those, okay. Uh, here I actually do have to leave that form. The hell? Hmm. Do I have to like... Oh, you know what? I gotta use electric. Oh, you gotta be... Okay, I see. How would I use... 
That wouldn't actually work, no. Hmm. If I... Wait, wait. Are any of these, like... Okay, can I see if any of these are, like, electrical-based? Honestly, I don't think so, but I'm not even sure if I can do this then. Because, well, I have Ionic... Oh, no, electrical Essence is the one that... What would that do? Okay, what if I... Let's see. It doesn't do it, though. Like, I came pretty close, but that's not how I, I, that's not how you do it. Oh, oh, I did it, I did it. Okay, that is how you do it, okay. You just stand in the middle and you shoot to each side once. Oh, there, there we go. Mana Reliquary, okay. Alright, so I did that, and now I got this teleport as well, which will let me get out of here. Now I have a few items missing, though. Oh, look, we got a level up. Okay, next item's actually over here, bottom left. You can see a little thing on the map, and yeah, we just ended up missing this. We never got it for whatever reason, but it's right there, and that's it. So with that, we have completed every single treasure chest here. We're at 97%. We're missing only two more of the Vigils, so let's go ahead and take care of those. Okay, so the next one's actually in this room. I think it's easy to miss this because you're focusing and trying not to get hit by those explosives, but it's actually right there. Whoa, that's actually a glitch. Did y'all see that? It's like you're... I don't know, that was incredibly weird. And there's the 20th gear wheel, so with that we can go back, but we're missing just the one bygle, so I do have to get that first. Okay, and the very last one's actually in the very beginning. My bad, I totally forgot about this, but basically you have to just do... There we go. You need the uh, you need the wall jump plus the dash to be able to do that, and the double jump, obviously. Uh, but yeah, that's actually it. Let me just go ahead and pull up the map, and we are at 100% for the floating Malta, so we are done here. Yeah, we're definitely doing a lot here in this video. Uh, and we're still going to do a few more things in the town. I just want to make sure I do all these cleanup stuff in this video before we progress in the next video. So, I'm just going to mash through this because we're going to get a bunch of accessories and stuff here. And money rewards, obviously. Here's the next one, because we've done all of these already. We got that plus more money, okay. I think we can turn in four. Jokey the Mad, Hunter's Metal Plus, and 4,500. So we can examine in another one. Oh, look at that. Okay, this one is in the Tempest Plains. Interesting, yeah, we'll accept it. All right. Well, that's nice. That's gonna be another one there, but that's we're gonna leave that one be for now. We don't need to do it. It's fine. It's this guy, yeah. Let me talk to you. This is the quest of finding the 20 uh, cogwheel things, whatever they're called. Just a bunch of side quests here and there, you know? Okay. Stick them on your... Oh, okay. Another nice little weapon. Remote bombs. Nice. And I don't think I need to buy anything from you. New. Oh. That might be useful for something like like later. Oh no, I do need to buy stuff from you. It's just that before I spend my money on these things. Well, it's mostly the key item stuff. I want to actually spend some time over here with the blacksmith first. Let me see if uh, you can go ahead and let me some upgrades. Oh, you can. Okay, so I can do this one. I have exactly 12. That's perfect plus 4,000. I can also do this one to upgrade the protection. Alright, so I got both upgrades there. I'm missing uh, more materials to be able to get more upgrades from there. Which is fine. That's okay. Now I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do this now. I'm gonna spend some money. We're gonna purchase. And we're gonna just go down here and see, what is this thingy? Oh, it's a good healing thing, okay. Uh, I'm gonna buy... Sure, I'll buy this potion pouch. I mean, I can technically just buy all of these. Honestly, I probably should. Maybe that's what it, yeah, okay. And everything else is just... Yeah, I don't need to do any of that, it's fine. 
Okay. So, those are nice purchases, but that's actually all you have. I mean, I can buy more potions now that I up my, you know, max, but I don't think I need to do that. I unlock some additional ones here. The orb you have active at the time will grant you 30% defense against attacks by the same element. Activating orb gets 10% chance to inflict an imminent alter. Okay, so that's just whatever. When taking a melee attack, your enemy will take 25% of damage from that attack. See, this actually seems useful. Yeah, I'll get this one. It's fine. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do increases the critical ch chance. Yeah, I'll do that. Gonna improve the critical chance, and we'll also go ahead and do elemental defense. So 20% defense against attacks from that same element. Next thing I will do is I'm gonna go ahead and do this here. Uh because I can actually transform into this little creature here. That's kind of cool, but with that, I think I can fit down at the very bottom, which I do want to actually do. You just drop like this. Because I didn't actually do this before. Which I definitely could have, I just missed it. Let's go, let's go, and here's a treasure. This contains... Asgarite. Alright, not bad, we got that. Okay, and the very last thing is to, now that I can turn in 15 more of these Radiant Bigels, I can actually get another upgrade here. Okay. Remember, it's every 15. What is this one gonna do? This one... You feel different? Your body will not prolong the effects of vials on you. Oh, perfect. Vials will last longer. Another 20. Oh, shoot. That's that's a lot, dude. That's definitely a lot. Uh-huh. Huh. huh. Alright, I'm going to end it here. Next time, I'll just meet you at the last point where we were at to progress the story. So... Before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.